hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel welcome thank you for stopping by and thank you for clicking on this video to watch thank you so much my name is raisa this is your first time seeing me i do videos here on youtube on lifestyle education and vlogs and yep that's it yeah so feel free to hit the subscribe button if this is your very first time here and also endeavor to turn on your notification bell so that whenever i post a video you are the first to know hmm, guys this intro sometimes it can make you forget what to say but it's okay we we'll have the, lead, the leading of the spirit so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys you of our campus tips so this video you know i've been doing videos on youtube and and i got to reach out to to do a video on campus tips so i can let you guys into my own space about that how how i feel about the university of vaginas campus okay so let's jump right into this video my top five campus tips i'm going to give you so these are just <laughs> based on my own experience so let's do it here can you guys hear me i guess you can hear me i know you guys can can you can you for me the first thing make friends we all know that once you move to this place you're moving here most likely by yourself you're alone you're studying alone so there's this newfound freedom you have attained if you get what i mean you're just by yourself so what do you want to do then you don't want to like go out of your way and then just live your life because you're independent you have all the time to do whatever you want to do no manage it very well make friends on that first day of school the first week of school that is the time for you to make friends because at that point everybody is like looking out oh who's going to be my friend who's going to you know who's going to approach me first and don't be scared to approach anybody to talk to them don't be shy to tell somebody or oh, can we just hang out or can we go and sit somewhere together that's how you just start it just starts like a joke it just starts like that because if you don't make friends on that first week or second week or first month after a while when people have gotten to know each other they've already made their own friends they have their circle of friends and you coming after it's like well you will not really feel you will not get that vibe if you get what i'm saying you will not get that vibe from the from that friendship because they already established themselves you coming out to add there you're not going to feel welcomed like that i'm not saying there are no exceptions there are exceptions but it's very very important for you to make friends on that first day so you can have study buddies you can have um go to friends even though even if they don't have to be in your own course or they don't have to be studying the same thing as you but you can always hang out with them sometimes and you may meet them in other classes as well you never know just because as a fresh year student sometimes you you need people you can go out with maybe you want to go to the mall sometimes your own classmates are not available to go at the time but you can go with these other people so that's one of the tips for you second thing you want to know as um, a campus tip i'm going to give you is befriend a professor attend lectures they are important i know that you do, i know that there are times where you want to sleep in especially in the winter people want to sleep in you want to when you look outside and you're like oh my god i don't want i don't feel like going to school or um it's too early but it's important for you to go to class now things are mostly online but we are going to transition back to normal we don't know when but once that happens try to always attend your lectures that's how you get to know your professor ask questions in class ask them professor you have to know my face you must know me to the point that when they turn they're like wait a minute you you know that it's you because you established it right there by asking questions all the time the prof is going to know you and honestly you will see yourself excelling even if you don't know what is going on the fact that you want to know the fact that you're willing to know you go to this professor for help you go to him for this and that he knows that you are trying and that's how um you're able to you're going to be able to pull through that class especially if the class is difficult or that people find hard to um pass yeah so that tip is done lectures are important go to class make a professor your friend it doesn't have to be only one it can be two it can be three for all your classes make them your friends let them know the tip i'm going to give you is to seek support services what do i mean by support services 
excuse me um the university of regina has support services where they provide accessibility to people who are disabled if you are disabled in any form they can always accommodate you in class so you don't have to worry about that you can seek mental health support mental health and wellness a lot of times when students move to canada they are by themselves you don't want to run into depression or you don't want to run you don't want to be stressed or anxiety whatever it is you always have that support in the, on campus where you can go to them and talk and they're going to help you pull through that situation that thing that you're going through you're like, you, do, you don't want people to come here and die of depression it can be depressing especially in the winter let me just warn you in the winter and that's when you don't know people you don't have friends because maybe you were unable to make friends when you just got there you know especially i know during covid period it's that it has been a it has been a hard thing i don't know how the people who just came here um got or settled in i know it was a struggle definitely but i just hope that they were able to find a way around it especially um even if they didn't meet in person maybe online of some sort and i'm glad that the university definitely orga organized um things or gatherings where people had to like connect on zoom to meet like, like international students we i think we had some international um international students groups or parties that were even done like online on zoom or something or a meeting i don't remember exactly but that was like last semester so that's another thing you may want to do so seek for these support services another support service find the tutoring center so go to the tutoring center once you get like if you're struggling with english with math and with statistics because these are general classes that everybody has to take so when you when you encounter a situation or when you encounter any problem in your math class or your statistics class and you cannot solve that particular problem please go to the tutoring center ask for the maths one they're going to take you in and they will teach you they will follow you there's definitely there's, there are students who tutor other people they the ones who have taken the classes before or people who have been hired for that purpose so they can assist you to get through that okay same with english english has always been a problem although we speak english every day but written english all those essays all the reading that you have to do when you're faced with um uh, a passage to read and then produce like a, a, how many page um was that how many page essay people have problems with it and they end up failing those classes because you think that you're speaking english you know english very well be careful so sometimes it doesn't work that way if you need if you think that you need a tutor that if you're not doing well in that particular class please feel free to contact the tutoring services for english and they're going to help you on the that. third tip i'm going to tell you guys about the year of our campus is that avoid plagiarism don't plagiarize when you are given an assignment and when you're sitting on your own to do your research because there's a lot of research you're going to do as you get to this university or as you not only in this university in any other university this and oh let me just let you know these tips you can apply them in any other place i think it's similar for most universities in canada they have all these services and these are the things that you can apply there as well so like i was saying don't plagiarize when you're doing your homework when you're they're giving you something to do or whatever it is don't go on google to go and research and then copy and paste even if you are taking as long as it's not your idea reference it as long as it is not you who created that idea or who put it in google reference it because they can expel you from the university especially when it is very severe especially when people have plagiarized about 80 percent of their work there's no excuse for that they're just gonna copy somebody's work it is not from you and if you don't reference it even that's even worse you know just don't reference it you can and even when you let's say for example you're trying to reference something you're, you're found an information and it, it defines matter is this anything that occupies space and has matter wherever you have taken that definition from pick it paraphrase it use your own words and then reference whatever the idea was that's what i'm telling you like this thing eh you don't want to see your life go down the drain because you are plagiarized because you cannot reference an information and definitely the university of regina teaches you how to reference they will teach you all of that if you don't know it's even on the university's website referencing system it is there if you need any information keep go, go to the university website and they'll let you know they'll tell you okay yes so avoid plagiarism don't do that don't do that thing mm -mm, don't
they will tell you they will send you parking they will tell you to leave their university and my dear i'm sorry nobody will help you the dean will look at you in the face and tell you that okay this is what you did they'll pull out the work you'll be shocked some people think that they cannot go and bring out um whatever thing they did no they'll bring it out they'll fish you out they know every they know they have the system they know how to catch you so just be careful don't plagiarize okay don't do that um, also talk to your academic advisors academic advisors are there to guide you they are there to um, attend to you when you have any problem concerning your courses a lot of times when you get into school and they give you a whole list of all the courses you're supposed to do before you graduate you then look at it and you're confused like okay maybe i'll take this one the first semester second semester but your advisor is going to tell you it's better for you to take this particular course because you may need it for the purpose of this other future course and if you don't have this course it's offered once a year if you miss to take that one then you have to wait an extra year to take the other course so i'm going to say always talk to your academic supervisors they are there for a purpose reach out to them get their email call them just tell them that you need help and they're going to attend to you during their office hours yes okay. another campus tip i said i'm going to share five but i think i just want to give you guys more have study bodies spend your time in the library in the library if you don't have friends you will meet friends in the library you will see somebody that is solving that question that you're struggling with you will see somebody who has taken that class that, that you're looking for um solutions or past questions from you will find somebody the library is your go-to you should stay there and learn or do something don't just be alone don't don't spend time by yourself don't isolate yourself no go out there be free talk to people talk to people even if they don't want to talk to you go and talk they will talk to you back except the ones that give you that vibe of i don't want to talk to you can't you see that i'm studying you know then those ones just avoid them at the end of the day last thing have fun attend events there are career events that go on in school attend um student union meetings like all those extracurricular activities do stuff do fun stuff even if you're trying to distract yourself you can always say okay now i need to go and have fun and then i'll come back and study i'm going to face my books later and all of that good stuff another thing you can do is you can earn while you learn you can go to the international office and ask if you can help them there if you if they need help or if they are looking for somebody to be um, an international advisor you can be a peer advisor you can do all of these things and always incorporate all these things that you've been doing while you were studying as a student at the university of Virginia. so i'm going to leave it at this this is the end of this video i hope that i hope that you're going to find this information useful even if you don't if you know somebody that does please share the video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you watched up to this point why have you not subscribed to my channel subscribe thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye